In this video, I will show you how to fix if you're getting an error with Roblox, which says that the kernel failed to find the Roblox process. So let's jump straight into it. So if you are getting an error message that looks similar to this, then follow along with me as I'm just gonna guide you through what to do. First, what you're gonna to want to do is come to your desktop. And if you right click onto your taskbar down here and open up the task manager, of course, the first thing you wanna do is make sure that you come out of Roblox if you have got it running. So you can see Roblox game client here. All you wanna do is click onto this, then right click and click on to end task. So once you've done that, next what you're going to want to do is come to the bottom left hand corner and click onto your search icon and in here you want to go ahead and type run or you can just hold the windows key and press R on your keyboard. In here what you want to do is type the following which is percent app data percent and then hit enter. And what that's going to do is bring up a folder that looks like this. Now you should see at the top, it should say app data and roaming. So you should be in this folder. So you should actually see the KRNL folder in there. Now, because I'm not experiencing this error, I've not got that on here. But if you do see that folder, the first thing you're going to want to do is uninstall and delete that folder. So once this is done, what you want to do is come to the top to this little address and you want to click onto app data. Next, go and click onto the local folder and then go ahead and find your Roblox folder. So you can do this by clicking onto any folder, pressing R on your keyboard, and that's gonna take you to all the folders named R. So you can see we've got Roblox here. So you just wanna double click onto the folder. What you wanna do here is come to the logs folder, which is up here. So you can see if I click onto this, it's just got a list of loads of different logs. And all you wanna do is delete this folder by again, clicking onto it, pressing delete on your keyboard and deleting that folder. Now, once that's done, go ahead and try and run Roblox and you should now be able to play no problem. The final thing I could recommend if it's still not working is to turn off your antivirus. So to do this again, come down to the search box on your desktop and then go ahead and type virus and threat protection. And you'll see underneath best match, we got the link to the app player. So you wanna click onto this and basically you wanna turn off real time protection. So this depends on what, of course, antivirus you have installed. If you have the basic one, it should be here. But if you have something like I've got like AVG or Norton, then what you have to do is actually open up that program and turn the antivirus off on there. Again, once that's done, go ahead and try and open Roblox and you should be able to play the game now, no problem. So I hope this quick tutorial helped you out today and if it did, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.